Hello there, this is Marcin and in today's video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about color balance. We'll be working on this image example which I believe is perfect for presenting this adjustment layer. Starting from the name color balance could be a little bit misleading because we can do so much more than just the color. In fact, we can adjust the colors and we can also adjust the contrast using color balance adjustment layer. Before we start, I want to encourage you to check the links in the description so you can know exactly what I'm doing. You can check my portfolio, you can check my educational page and anything else. If you will like this video, I will ask to hit the like button because it will help others to discover this video. So let's start. I'm going to move to the color balance. First thing that we could notice is the choice of the tone on the top. So we can work selectively on the shadows, highlights, and the mid-tones. What means the shadows? Shadows are basically all of the dark areas on the image. Highlights will be the bright areas of the image, like the sunset over here, and mid-tones will be everything in between. We will be affecting a little bit more because when we will work with the highlights, we will affect a little bit on the, of the mid-tones. When we work with the shadows, we also will affect uh, some of the mid-tones. Uh, so the transitions here are quite smooth. I'm going to start with the shadows and the second thing is this slider. So this is our uh, working area here. And this slider are based on red, green and blue light. So we work in RGB mode as with everything else, the same way as we work with curves, levels and few other adjustment layers. What does it mean? We can add or take away the red light, green light or blue light. So if we go to the left hand side here, it doesn't mean we add cyan color or it doesn't mean that we add the cyan light it simply means we are taking away the red light from the shadow area. How do I know this? How do I know that I actually do not add the cyan? As long as you don't have this box preserve luminosity checked, and let's start with the red. I'm going to take away the red light. What you can see, despite the image changing the color to the cyan, it also becomes darker. Why it becomes darker? Because we are reducing the red light on the image. So one, it gets darker. And second, we have only two other lights left in the shadows area, which is green light and blue light. If you mix these two lights, you get the cyan and the range from green to blue. And of course, and the cyan is in between these colors. If from the shadow area, I will take away more, for example, in this case, I will take away the green light. As you can see, what I will be left with is the blue light. Have a look around the shadow area. First, the image got very dark, and now in the shadow area, we have nothing more than just blue light. I can change it to different way, for example, taking away from the shadow area, blue light, and I'm only left with the green light in the shadow area. I can have the different color around the highlights and the mid-tones, but specifically in the shadow, which is the area I'm working now, I will get the color on the green because this is only one light that I have here. And of course, opposite, if I will be adding the red light to the shadows first, the image will be get, getting brighter and the amount of red will increase here. And this is the mix, so we don't have pure red, but somewhere in the orange. If I would increase green and blue, as you can see, I'm getting mix of this color and also brightening the image. And now the other thing. So I moved all of these lights to 100%. What you can see, shadows got brighter quite clearly, but one more, thing that you can notice here. The colors did not change. And here is the name color balance because we keep the same balance in the shadow between red, green, and blue. We simply increase the values exactly the same way 
to 100%. So as long as we keep the same values on these lights, the colors will not change. Now on the light change. If I will decrease one of these, for example, to 50, as you can see, I get different colors because the balance between these lights is now different. But as long as I go with the same values, I don't change the colors, but I only change the lights on this image. And the same way, if I will go to negatives, as you can see, now I darken the image, the colors stay the same. One more option will be this preserve luminosity here. So if we check preserve luminosity, as you can see, we are not going to change the light values, but only the color. So in this case, if I keep the same values, I preserve the luminosity, so nothing change on this image. So if we want to affect just the colors, we hit preserve luminosity and then work with the color balance to change the balance between different lights. And of course, we won't be affecting the lights here. So the idea behind this is uh, pretty simple and you can see we do not only work with the color here, but also with the lights. So now, as we understand what's going on here, uh, let's uh, let's try to do some uh, work, uh, actually. So using the knowledge that we have and this knowing about this box here, uh, preserve luminosity. On this first layer, I'm going to do the lights. So let's go with the lights. And this image is a little bit dark on the shadows. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uncheck this box, preserve luminosity. I'm going to go to the shadows and I want to make this image brighter. So if I go with just one of this slider, I will make this image brighter, but I change the color. If we change preserve luminosity, we won't make the image brighter, but uh, we only change the color. We can also work with the blending mode here, for example, changing normal to luminosity and then I will be only increasing the light once again. But I want to get pretty straight here, so I'm going to increase the values same way. So made the shadows brighter. I do not preserve luminosity, so colors are not changed now. This is the first step. Then in the second step, I'm going to color grade the image using color balance. So I'm going to color balance. And this layer I'm going to rename into color grading. So I want to build some interesting mood. First of all, I do preserve luminosity. I'm going to the shadows and I want to make the shadows more into this uh, moody, uh, warm colors. Something like this. So I added some of the blue light some of the red and maybe some magenta. So I will get this uh, nice autumn sunset vibe on the image. What you can see, even we preserve luminosity, we get the impression of the changing the lights. Why is that? You need to understand that each color has its own luminance. So even we do not affect the lights, the colors have different luminance, some of them might appear a little bit darker. If you want to be 100% sure you will not affect any luminosity here, you will change blending mode to the color. And as you can see, now you don't affect anything. So what I'm going to do more, I'm going to highlights and I will add some maybe yellow to the highlights and some of the red, so I will get more punchy sunset. And when it comes to the mid-tones, I don't think I want to do much of the work in the mid-tone area here. So you can see, I wouldn't need to add anything like this. So I'm going to do a few steps back. I think I change over here. So a little bit more what I could do on the uh, mid-tones. I don't want to over-experiment on this image, being honest with you, but I don't want to left anything. And I think this looks okay now. So I'm going to stay with these settings. Have a look if we would not preserve luminosity, as you can see, 
Also, we can uncheck this and nothing would change now because we changed the blending mode to the color. And the last thing, I'm going to work on the contrast here. So I'm going to color balance once again. And I'm going re to rename this to contrast. So I'm going to uncheck this. And we have two options now. First of all, we can adjust strict contrast with the same values using the color balance, or we can also change the blending mode later to blending mode that will be luminosity. And then we will be sure that we'll, we will not affect the color. So I'm going to start with the shadows. I'm going to make the shadows a little bit darker now. So not too much maybe to not make them too dark, minus 10 for each. Of course, the values doesn't have to be minus 10. I'm just going with these values because they are easy. I think it could be even too much, uh, maybe a little bit less. So let's go with minus 8 here. For the mid-tones, I want mid-tones to be a little bit brighter. So let's go with 5 for each. Maybe even more. I don't want this image to be as dominated by the shadows. Now is really something I like. And then the highlights also I'm going to increase here. Let's see, 15 is too much, uh, maybe not. But as you can see, I increased the contrast. I did not darken the shadows as much. Maybe now I could do a little bit more. I also increased the mid-tones. So now let's change it to a little bit more. I mix up a little bit, but I want to make sure that the contrast is perfect. And as you can see, because we were having the same values everywhere, we did not affect the colors, but just the lights. So we quite nicely increase the contrast here. The last thing, if uh, we want to make sure we do not affect the colors, even if we increase the contrast this way with the same values, we might change the saturation. So if you want to make sure the image won't get the saturation, you can change blending mode to luminosity. Also, if you will be having different values here and just want to affect the light, then you will also want to affect on the luminosity and change the blending mode to the luminosity. I want this image to be rather saturated. I will stay with normal. I like how it looks. And this is it. As you can see, color balance is much more than just the tool to adjust in colors. It actually allows you to precisely work with RGB modes, which is the lights. So you can affect the light values on the image. Uh, you can color grade the image. And in fact, this is my favorite tool in Photoshop to color grade the images. The answer is simple. It allows me to work precisely on the different tone. I know if I need to do something with the shadows, I will do it. If I know I need to do something with the highlights, easy. When I work with the curves and levels, I don't feel that I have the same control that color balance gives you. So this is it. It's a little bit long video, but I wanted to make sure I will be clear and specific and we will able to add some adjustments here. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in the future. If you think this video helped you to understand how color balance work, hit the like button, leave the comment as well. I always try to respond to all of the comments. I love when people comment. So I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think, what you want to see, and I will see you next time in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.